Hi, welcome to HSC. Today I'm going to walk you through the basics of the Ag VA line. Now your aircraft might look slightly different. It might have different propellers or different arms. Uh, even the tank might be slightly different. But the point of this video is just to get you familiar with the aircraft. And as a reminder, it's not a substitute or replacement for actual flight or safety training. So just keep in mind, this is just for your information and uh, just to get you acquainted. All right, let's take a look. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the structure of the aircraft itself. We'll consider this part here, the airframe, right? This is the main core of the, of the aircraft itself. You have two GPS antennas as well. And you have a pump in the setting on this aircraft. This pump is placed on top of the tank, as you can see here. This is your liquid tank. And some aircraft, this might be attached to the back or on a carbon fiber plate on the side as well. Keep in mind, these are customizable and replaceable. So it's just the DC pump, totally customizable by you. Uh, also keep in mind with the antennas, the GPS antennas represent the nose of the aircraft. So right now the aircraft is facing you, okay? On the arms, these are the quick release arms. You've got the wiring harness here for the actual motor connections. The red and black wires, if equipped, are for your navigation lights, which we'll get to in a moment. On the arm itself, pretty simple. Just lift up to latch. You pull it all the way up like this. Make sure it's straight. Bring this piece down, fold, and clip like this. Now the arm's secure. Now, if equipped, your aircraft will have navigation lights. So if I click that, you'll see navigation lights at the bottom flashing. And the battery for those, you'll see, is tucked right back here. Just unplugs right here at this connection. Move that antenna out of the way so you can see it. Is how you disconnect and charge that battery. Okay, there's another video for charging. Now, this antenna that you see here is the communication antenna for the ground station kit. Okay. It's a long antenna. You'll have three of these, two longs and a short. One of the long goes here. The other one goes on the actual ground station comms box, which there's another video for. If we notice behind this particular arm, so mind you, the antennas here represent the nose of the aircraft. So this is the left side of the aircraft. If I lift this arm up, you'll see a pin. But this is the pin where the booms attach. Booms attach here, and the structural beam connects here at that pin. And at the back of the aircraft here, now we're at the tail facing you, you'll see your battery connectors and a status LED in your tank. Lastly, on this side, you'll see two gray antennas. Keep these out of the way of this arm, particularly. Make sure they never get closed or, or squished in there. This is the antenna cable for the Futaba controller. Now I'm going to show you also the propellers on this particular craft as well. Great. Now that we have the motor arm extended and securely latched here, best way to unfold these propellers is remove a velcro strap or yours might have a zip tie on it or your own device whatever it is remove that the reason that these are here is basically so that when the arms are down and you're carrying the aircraft around that these propellers don't swing down by gravity and scrape on the ground or get caught on things now all you'll do is just pull these apart okay straighten them out and on your pre-flight checklist, you'll also notice that making sure that these bolts here are also securely connected, that your motor is level and plumb, and that everything is secure at the airframe as well. And that's pretty much the basics of the Ag VA line. Thanks again for watching, and uh, check out our other videos on the next steps. Thanks again.